Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is a uh, rainy and stormy day here in uh, Pennsylvania, but we are ready to go ahead and uh, start the motor for the first time. Um, have our battery hooked up, power's all hooked up. I have coolant in there, but I'm gonna have to top off the engine. Uh, once we get to operating temperature, engine's full of oil. Took the power steering belts off so I wouldn't have to worry about um, putting fluid in the power steering system yet. But one of the first things I had to do, and this is this applies just to the uh, Holly EFI system, is I had to calibrate the wizard, or do the calibration wizard, which there is a small handheld. that uh, goes with the EFI system. And basically you have to set your, um, you know, what, how many cylinders, what system you have, um, the displacement, your idle speed. Um, there's a few things you have to do, um, camshaft type, your ignition type, and then uh, it actually then updates the, um, the ECU that's in the throttle body. Once that is then updated, then we are then ready to go ahead and start the motor. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it over and see how this goes, see how it sounds when it starts. Um, then I can double check my, make sure I got good oil pressure, you know, good voltage. That's why I have the temporary gauges up there. Um, hopefully there's no issue. I did not put the sending unit that came with the oil pressure gauge on there. That might be a problem but we'll confirm that once we start it. Um, we're not gonna run it very long in the, at first. So, when we first start this up, we first turn the ignition on. My fuel pump just kicked on. Pressurize the system. There we go, now it is ready to go ahead and start. All right, here we go. Good voltage. You're gonna have to see why my gauges aren't reading. Right. I'm going to have to see why my gauges aren't reading. Um, I'm not too worried about temperature and voltage because I do get that with the Sniper EFI, but I got to make sure that my oil pressure is uh, definitely working there. All right, be back in a few. Well, I, uh, I put the, the sending unit in that goes with this gauge set and that didn't work. So I ended up hooking up a mechanical gauge. I'm gonna go ahead and start the motor. Um, even if I have to run the mechanical gauge temporarily, uh, bottom line, um, I just need to know where my oil pressure is and then I can figure out what's going on with the gauges and the sending unit and that at a later date. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Got power on. I'm gonna start it up and see where our oil pressure is at. Okay, so we got a nice healthy 55 to 60.
Okay, so my next step is I'm going to move the uh, CJ over to the door, put the tail end out the door. I'm going to set my fan up in front of it in here, my big pedestal fan, and turn that on. And I'm going to basically do the break in on the motor, which is going to be about a 2000 RPM run for about 20 minutes. Um, I know I've got oil pressure, so we're good there. I know I've got good voltage. I know my, I can see my temperature, uh, water temperature reading uh, through the Sniper EFI. Because um, I do have two uh, temp sending units. I have the one for the EFI right here, and on the other side is the one that goes to the gauges. Not sure why the gauges are not reading correctly or reading at all. Um, but I can address that later. But right now this will allow me to run the motor and break the motor in and then I can do the final setup on the EFI. I can burp all the coolant out of the uh, cooling system. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up for that. So I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to hear me, but I've got my pedestal fan blowing. Engine temps at 193. My electric fans, looks like fan one is on right now. Fan two hasn't kicked on yet. But the timing looks good. Voltage is good, temperature's good. About 45 PSI now that we've warmed up. All right, I'm going to bring up the RPMs and start to break in. I'll be back. All right, about 10 minutes into the break in. Still about 45 PSI plus on oil pressure. About 208 right now. The second fan comes on at 200 degrees, so one at 190, one at 200. The 1850 RPMs right now, ballpark. All right, so the break-in is complete. Ended up at idle. After the break-in, my idling warmed up at full temperature. Oil pressure was about 30 PSI. Bumps right up to 55 to 60 when I, when I rev it up. Um, engine runs good, knock on wood. So far, no significant leaks or anything that I see. Um, gonna let my cooling system cool down and burp out the rest of the air and and I'm gonna seal that back up. And uh, now I just gotta go through some stuff that's specific to the Sniper EFI, um, some tuning and calibration. Um, gotta set my, um, my intake uh, air control, um, my throttle position sensor, and get my idle down to where it should be, which is 700 to 750 RPMs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, I think I'll go ahead and wrap this up right now. Um, next we'll be, uh, after this, I guess we'll be bleeding out the power steering system, bleeding out the brakes, bleeding out the slave cylinder, and at that point in time, the steering wheel and a couple seats, and this thing should be um, a movable piece of, uh, piece of equipment. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.